Good day everyone! Thank you for stopping by and visit my channel today. Maybe you are very busy, but you still here. Stop by to say hello. Uh, we have today part number three from a uh, big, uh, huge haul that I received from Everyday E Crafts. Uh, first video, part one, was diamond painting, very cute little canvases. Uh, number two was cross stitch. Number three, right now we're going to have diamond painting. Looks like three big canvases. And then will be part four, also cross stitch. So let's get started. And this one looks like a, in the same bubble wrap. Uh, let's put this here for now. This one something smaller and this one it kind of taped, uh, I guess didn't find a bigger uh, <laughs> bigger envelope. Maybe let's just start from this one because it's already kind of ripped. Let's rescue and see what this is. Looks like it's the biggest maybe canvases of all. All right. It sure looks big. What do we have in here? Oh, that's the, okay. The gardening uh, place, kind of. Mm, let's see, first tools. We have two blocks of wax, regular one placer, and a green, green tray. Now, I ordered this one to see because it kind of remind me, I think I might have something similar, but on a very tiny, but like, Thin but long canvas because I remember was something very similar. It feels like maybe this is just the sequin of the image they took and create this one, or maybe I am totally mistaken and I don't know what I'm talking about. But I feel like I already saw this image somewhere. Um, have to get the reflection out. Uh, I have to say that this image is big. It's 60 by 50 centimeters. How about thumbnail? Can we see the thumbnail like nicely all in one? Okay, I think you can see very well actually picture in here. It looks like a birdhouse, some vase with tulips. Oh no, maybe that's not the one that I'm thinking. But I, I love the way it looks, the picture on a on a website and I thought let me try it I can say that this uh, clear sheet feels like very very squeaky but very easy coming out of the canvas you just have a big air bubbles under let me get rid of them oh this way without the shine of the paper you can see kind of better this image so what do we see in here some what is this? Is it like a, a birdhouse or something? Your decorative house? It's kind of hard to see on a diamond painting right now what this looks like and what the, this could be. Till you go to website and check it out up there. Okay, let's get those air bubbles out and hopefully not to flip on another side because it feels like it's very static okay did I do a good job or not I don't know just a little bit more another side <clears throat> I have to really kind of keep this down canvas itself looks really good now let me uh, I do not check every time uh, canvas for the stickiness. This one I would love to try because the canvas looks like I see the grids of canvas. So it could be not thick layer of glue. So let me put my finger. I don't have any grease on my finger. So oh no, it's actually it feels sticky. So your diamonds will stick. There's no problem. Okay. Uh, we do have in here 24 colors and my friends this is a square diamond painting 
it doesn't matter see it's still trying to flip and curl up so we're going to put like this we are going to put diamond painting on the top so you can see the picture picture is beautiful it's very like a garden looking uh, if you have a sunroom this is perfect picture for the sunroom oh that, that was always my dream to have a sunroom very very sunny cozy with the nice kind of rocking chair which I have one uh, look at this beautiful shades in here so I don't think for me that it has um, like I don't think I need to open this to count diamonds lately I never have any problems um, or I can do like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. No, I cannot see all the colors. I'm, I'm sure I'm missing some somewhere, but oh yeah, definitely I'm missing something because they are hiding. Uh, I'm pretty sure it would be like the old diamonds in here with no problem, right? So what do you think about this? I think it would be such a beautiful huge picture as a gift even for somebody Let's say birthday or Christmas Especially for the person who like gardening This would be so pretty. I think it may be even like a um, how you call it bird cage like a wire bird cage maybe staying here it's kind of hard for me to see right now i'm sure you probably see this picture a little bit better than i am because i'm looking in a little screen of the camera and you watching on a big screen of computer probably so you can see better love those tulips up there and there's some um, maybe like this um uh willow tree no how you call it There's lots of uh, wild kind of flowers. I can't recognize them right now. But it, it's pretty. It's pretty. And it's a good size of this. So you can work on this for many, many days. Especially square diamonds. Most of them I like to place one by one. Sometimes I use uh, multi-placer if I feel like diamonds layering very nicely. So it depends on the canvas itself. But I have to say that image is beautiful and I really like it. Now, let's see this one kind of look different from the others. Probably smaller size as well. Okay. Um, I will be... Now... I think I have this kind of canvas or similar but not exactly the same that's why uh, now I remember why I ordered this okay so regular toolkit diamonds in here around shape now it could be a similar design could be absolutely the same but for some reason, I think I have this design that it's very, very light colors, like a different uh, color structure in here. And also that canvas is 30 by 40 centimeters. This one is 40 by 50. That's why it's caught my eye because this is my favorite size for the diamond painting canvas. To kind of like in the middle between big and small. And I just love the colors in here. So uh, when sometime, uh, if I will do some kind of like a whip and chat video, I will try to find a canvas like this, which would be very easy right now to find a canvas because 30 by 40 centimeters, mostly of those canvases I have organized in those white envelopes. And that would be, a 
uh, easy for me to find them. Let me just fix this side as well. Unless the other canvas that I'm thinking, it was maybe two dragonflies. Maybe there was a two dragonflies. That's why this one looks so kind of better because more bright and the other one was more like an a pastel colors, which this like a bright color. I have to say this similar. So I will find the other canvas and show you even if it's not going to be work on this particular canvas, uh, I will find um, just to make a comparison what I'm thinking. It does the same or not. Actually, right now without uh, this squeaky paper, we can see how gorgeous the lotus flower in here and the dragonfly in here. Definitely the focal point. He is so beautiful. He or she, I don't know, looks pretty. And also in here, I like this, um, whatever that is uh, from the lily flowers, the leaves, kind of interesting color in here. Because usually if you would go uh, to the regular uh, river, for example, some kind of creek when you see this. Um, and actually there is a big place on a way when we go camping, there has, um, big well not exactly the same way but sometimes we go a different way to the campground and they have little kind of creek by the road and it's like full of white uh, lotus flowers so the leaves of course green uh, interesting in here that we have such a bright beautiful color so it's totally different Wow, the, the colors in here are amazing. It's so much better than I thought when I ordered. And now when I'm looking in here, I definitely think that the other canvas that I think about is a little bit different. Also has a dragonfly, but I think it's different. More like in a purple color, something like that. Maybe some of you recognize what I'm talking about just by listening. Uh, 24 colors again, and we do have a DMC code, which I didn't tell you that the garden, the flowers also have a DMC code, which is beautiful. I love when company do. I wish the diamonds was also packed into the Ziploc bag, but it's not. So we are going to check them. Lots of gorgeous shades of green. I don't know, lately I'm really attracted to the green color, which used to be pink and blue, my favorite, which, oh my God, like when you look in here, yeah, the teal and those pink, like I love that combo them together. So let's just one more time run them. I know you are sick and tired of seeing diamonds me showing all the time, but come on, look how beautiful. How can you not have enough? <laughs> I mean, how can you have enough of seeing them when they are so pretty? Oh, this one, nice kind of light teal. When I bring it close, it looks like a pinkish even. Have to show you a little bit from further. Look how pretty the pink for, this, um, for the flowers in here. Now, that's the uh, color I think that will be somewhere in here. So it's not just a one of this uh, dark, kind of like a brown to orange color. Lots of beautiful shades of green. Brown and more green. Dark, dark, dark green. And more green and blue. And this is two, that's a 310 one bag. We kind of look them backwards. <clears throat> so let's check. We have, yes, 24. So that's two bags of the same color. And 24, yes, we have 24 bags. Everything here. Okay. Uh, to have, um, you know, I said I wish it would be on a Ziploc bag, but I'd rather have this packaging than those little tiny single ones that they like falling apart and diamonds sometimes get all mixed up. So 
This is totally fine with me. What a gorgeous canvas. Love it. So far from these two, this one last one is my favorite. Now we have looks like very well identical packaging, identical size of canvases. I'm not sure if this kind of like a pair coordinating canvases or not because the order was created a long time ago and I have to say that this package traveled to me a very long time this time. Yes, it took forever, I think. I don't know how long, but a long. Yes, okay, so no, they are not coordinating, but this is a map. You know me if you follow me long enough that I like the globe, I like the space, I like the map, I like pictures of old map, like, you know, from thousands years ago, hundred years ago, and this is the map. Can you see your country here? That would be fun to actually see some writing. Of course, we're not going to see writing in here, but let me see if I can recognize in here. Uh -huh. Ukraine would be somewhere in here. And Canada somewhere up there. Oh, where I'm showing, I'm showing the wrong side. Um, anyway, so I just love the way it looks picture on a website. Um, it probably on a picture itself was some kind of writing, right? Because if you're taking a map. But everybody know if you have this in diamond painting, you're not going to see much of the writing even if they have any in here. Not sure. Canvas looks just perfect. Oh, canvas gorgeous. Few of these air bubbles that we're just going to give rid of right now. Look how bright. Isn't that like it's so realistic looking map with the colors and shades of the water. I think it's really, really pretty design. Well, it's not design, it's probably um diamond painting created for from real map if you have any idea for the gift for the gentleman for your co-worker maybe teacher geography teacher would be awesome for any school oh my goodness this is going to be beautiful in the office somewhere love it very impressed when I saw this picture on a website I'm right away with no thinking it's like that's it I have to have it because it looks very beautiful I know lots of uh, ladies right now like cross stitching different pictures of maps that's maybe where I got this no actually not because I love globes and maps from a long long time that's why I kind of I even collected some and I have one very old globe of the world I don't know how old but it left from me from my husband's uncle have that and I have no idea how old that is so what do you think and then of course we have a big pack of diamonds that already pre-packed on those good quality um, bags we have in here toolkit that is um, just a one little square and now look at this one see how i love these bags because they kind of unique i like that they printed uh, diamonds on them so you know what we didn't catch well usually those diamonds uh, i mean the bag could be not close all the way and you have to kind of 
reseal them just for in case. Uh, we didn't count the other one. Maybe we should count this one if we have them all or not. Or, or even just a little look if I don't have any open one. I don't know if I want to. Because they look so good. Okay, just the one. We're going to count this one. And the other one we are not going to count if they also are not bags like this. Let me just kind of reseal them and look at that a beautiful big big um, of this uh, number and the diamonds like print itself I like the print and then so we have I'm just going to quickly kind of run as well oh this one click there so three four five six seven eight nine 10 very good quality bags 11 Twenty-three and twenty-four. See all of them in here. Usually they are really nice to not to have any mistakes, and that's our colors. Lots of beautiful, like like this trick colors. Let me just show you like this, and it's actually another kind of family of them. If I can put like on this side, on this side, oh no, this one. Yeah, kind of go. Look at this kind of shade and go nicely beautiful colors. This one even kind of too light maybe. Uh, yeah, very very pretty. Diamonds quality should be very nice. Just to show you a few of them. This one looks like a candy. Oh, caramel candy. Alright my friends, this is good. Nothing is missing so far. Now we have one more to open and see what kind of surprise waiting us up there. Let me just take a time and put this away. As much as I wanted this video to be in one part, I can see already that... No, it's going to be one part, but my camera will stop soon because we're already in almost 23 minutes. So I might as well just probably pass by myself and restart maybe again okay let me put this aside for now okay and let me just rest. okay so i already opened the bag not to waste too much of your time oh did i just move my table cover all right something very colorful <laughs> Something very splashy of color. Okay. Uh, did I? No, I did not tell you. Did I tell you size of this map? I think I forgot. Uh, it's 80 by 40. All right. 80 by 40. Beautiful map. And now we are going to have. What do we have? What do we have? Oh. Yes, did any of you wonder about this one? I, I see this recently uh, start to pop in every store, so I guess this is new arrival. Uh, we have the same exact toolkit. Now the canvas is super thin and flexible. Let's peel this. Wow, the canvas is very thin. Very thin. It's like almost like fabric. Now we're just going to open half of that because... So I believe this could be like winter and summer. I don't know. It's still kind of splashes, but... What a beautiful, colorful tree. Wow. I actually... Believe it or not, I really like this part in here. The way those grids and you can just imagine how those 
big roots go into like under the ground with this huge trees maybe like 100 years old uh, I don't know this is very magical tree this all those splashes whatever who created this art definitely had a fun to play with this colors now this size exactly same okay 80 by 40 centimeters and it's very static very static let's try to reseal okay still going to be a little bit better maybe those little air bubbles i'm just gonna shoot them sideways some trap just keep moving <laughs> ah the air bubble okay and i just have to fix the other side too because right now all my canvas is laying flat you know that i'm organizing them flat that way it take me less room for the space kind of i like to separate them it's more time consuming of course to find later diamonds and uh, diamond painting to um, when you want to start to work on something but if you organize good there is no problem and one day I will show you my organization uh, well I'm pre-recording this video you will see this video much later than I record so maybe by then I will finish my room and you will see already how I organize, which I show you already a little bit before. If you want to check my video of organizing craft room. Uh, the tree is absolutely amazing. Love it. And it's such a huge... Um, you know, we see many trees that is seasonal and a little tiny canvases. But to have this one, it feels like it's a many seasons in here. Because it's like a cooler side and warmer side. Um, you can say, you know, fall, summer, spring and winter. But it's kind of like all seamlessly connected. And I love it. I love it. In here, of course, we have diamonds pre-packed into the those long strips of diamonds. So I don't think there is a... I don't think I need to actually pull them out this time. If we can look just like this, mostly in here, kind of neutral color and just a few splashes. Feels like when we're looking on a canvas, like in here, it feels like it's not enough colors when we look like that, right? But then we look in here, it's like, wow, it's so many colors. Hmm. Uh, well, for example, you see in here this bright, bright yellow, right? Um, but if we look at the diamonds, that's the brightest yellow. And it's not exactly bright yellow if you would see in here. It's actually more like to the orange family. So the, the canvas definitely would look a little bit uh, different than you see in here. Maybe more suited colors, not as bright as the print right now but stunning stunning i can't even tell which one my favorite now mm, which one is your favorite let me know in the comments below and don't forget to watch my other videos if you missed it if you like uh, my videos maybe share with your friends that really helped me to to get my videos up there more on the internet and that helped me uh, as well and thank you for your help thank you very much for a company to produce um, this gorgeous piece of crafts for us to work on and i appreciate because it's uh, sent to me for absolutely free to review for you my friends all right thank you so much for staying with me today and as always hopefully we'll see you tomorrow have a good day